um, we value uh, our values revolve around loving God. We value him, you see. But we are what we value. We are the valuing of God. But also, we are the expression of God's love. We are the, the expression of God. God is love and we are that love. But thirdly, we are sent to tell people that they are children of God. They are a consequence of his love. So you might want to review those three meanings of we are the love of our God. The first is that we, by the Holy Spirit, well, I'm, uh, hmm, hang on. Yes, by the Spirit we come to know God, to love Him, you see. The second is, in that love of Him, that we now have. We are the expression of his love. We are part of his loving kindness, you see, our whole being. And thirdly, we're sent to tell people that they are a consequence of God's love. They are children of God, created by him, born of him, you see. They've come into being because of his love for them. So if we think of we breathe in the Holy Spirit first of all and come to utterly love God we become, you see, the personification of what we value and we value God. So this is the great creative time of the Holy Spirit coming in. And then, having received such, we now know God and uh, our being and actions are accordingly. We become part of our God's love which is who he is, of course. There is this oneness with God, that we are the expression of himself, his right hand, his child, his son, daughter, hmm? children. That's who we are. We hold that. We hold that eternally.
the out breath is coming to the universe of uncertainty here and telling others that they are the consequence of his love, which has caused him to have them born of him, that he, God, is their dad. That's the great commission that we have to um, do what Jesus did. Tell us that God is our Father, our Heavenly Father. Is our dad. We are his children. So I can think of this in terms of the breath we are filled with the Holy Spirit. We come to know God. We are the expression of God, of what we value. You see, we're the expression of what we value, which is the loving of God. And we hold this eternally. Because we have now, we are now the expression of his love. We are all part of the love that God has as his personhood. And we are sent, we breathe out, we speak out, specifically to let people know that God loves them, that they are born of him, they are children of God, God is their dad. Do you see? Then we breathe in again. Now if you do this with calmness and peace, and some regularity, um, symmetry, triangular symmetry, if you like. It's an equilateral triangle. <laughs> um, but its base is in heaven, it points down to earth. Its security is in heaven, not the earth. The earth is transitory. The heaven is eternal. So, when God breathes into us, He is telling us that we, you know, we're filled with breath. As we breathe in, He's actually breathing out into us, you see. And we are receiving the breath, we are breathing in. So, as you breathe in, the Holy Spirit fills you and you come to know God. You have a great love for Him. And you realize you are the personification of this love. Your love for Him, that's who you are. And you hold this eternally, you hold the breath. Your whole being is now an expression, part of God's love, you see. We are the love of God, God's love. We are actually that. And we are sent to this world, down into this world. We are sent back, if you like, to tell others um, 
by Jesus. That you all exist down here because of God, his love for you. He's given you this being, this life. He's given you life. You are God's child, God's son, God's daughter. You are born of him. You see, your security, your base, is in heaven. It's him. And at this point you turn, recognizing that you're a child, a son of God. You're filled with his spirit. You start to Breathe in. You receive more and more life, you see. Each breath, you see, becomes a combination of hearing the word, living here in the transitory, you breathe in, you see, but our breath in is as God breathes out into us. He breathed into us, and that transforms us here. His breathing in is the transformation. Sorry, his breathing out into us is our breathing in, the transformation. We become eternally one that knows God because we've received in this transformation the Holy Spirit. And being the love of God, expression of it, eternally in heaven, we are commissioned to come and rescue by telling others that they are children of God here. So we come down, we come to tell them. And if they receive this, they have breathed in It's something of that. Now, what I tried to do here is to say what each step of the breath is of life. But it is the practice of thinking this through with each breath that actually gives you what it means. So, it's as if I've only given you clues of this so that you may receive it in your practice. It will come gradually. Not, not necessarily bit by bit, it suddenly hit you like an enlightenment. Haltingly, you will 
be met by a realization of such in your practice. You have flashes, if you like, of realization of this fullness of God and who you are, what you're called to. Until with practice you maintain this state continuously. Here, Kingdom of Heaven is now on earth, you see. You can enter it now, it's at hand. Because God breathes into us. Because we become a living soul. The kingdom of heaven is therefore at hand. All you have to do is reach out. Breathe. the love of God, your dad, teaching you the Holy Spirit, who you are, you are his love, part of his eternal being. This is our inheritance of life eternal. Our eternal transcendence in our dad's embrace. We are, you see, his family, his joy. He is our reason for living. We are his reason for living. He is the living God, God of the living. Our dad. We are his children. When we know him, we become adult children in the kingdom of heaven. As children, we're just children in the kingdom of heaven. Our dad is everything to us. We love each other because we are all children of the same family. And the family is a perfect harmony. As children here we learn how to love each other, how to find harmony amidst the incredible variety of our members of the family. When we find that harmony by recognizing our common dad, if you like, dad's common to all of us, and come to understand that he loves us all, and that we are all the result of his love and his kindness, and all destined because of his wonderfulness, his ability and his love, we are all destined to be like him, adult members of the kingdom of heaven, adult members of his family. Able to enjoy, enjoying his family life forever. This is life eternal, you see. To know him, and therefore be and love as he loves. 
but with our own unique individuality, personhood, that we be a wonderful fellowship to each other, instead of being alone. Bless you. So, practice this, this thinking, this meditation, this thought. You breathe in, you hold, you breathe out. That's what life down here is. And for most creatures, if they stop doing that, well, they can't stop very long. They have to breathe in again, or they can't remain. Now, when you think appropriately as you breathe in and hold the breath and breathe out, um, the peace and uh, um, harmony of such is expressed in regularity. We breathe in and we hold and we breathe out the same length of time. Um, in that that's found to be most comfortable. Um, strictly speaking, I suspect it might be more like a wave. We start to breathe in and it gains momentum and tails off as we reach a zenith and at some point we start to actually be no longer breathing in, but breathing out. We're in ministry, if you like, starting to be. Because God is love, you see. He's not some static state. He's an active, creative, wonderful being. And he breathes down into his creation and creates living beings that all live unto him. If you like, he assembles them and then breathes into them his Holy Spirit. And they become like him. That's what you're doing in the breath, right? You're reviewing this in the mind. You're obviously replenishing the body with oxygen as well as you don't. You're, you're meeting the physical needs as well. So it's a meditation. We're not asking anything here of God. We're observing what's happening. We're in the doing. We're practicing. And the practice itself becomes a not just physical but mental and spiritual activity of devotion. And this devotion, this love of God, identifying with God in these three ways. creating, holding, and sending down into his creation to create again. You can think of it as a wave or as an orbiting, really. you may start to see God as an eternal orbiting in this way. Hmm. 
don't think I need to say more because you'll find out where you're going. Taste and see. You might spend just a minute or two doing this. You may spend hours doing this. Whatever fits what you find a blessing, do. Bless you.